good evening from London. It's a bit uh, dark and rainy here. And hello from me, Dr. Dermot Hudson, Chairman of the British Group for the Study of the Duty Idea, Chairman of the UK Korean Friendship Association, and official delegate of the Korean Friendship Association for the United Kingdom, and President of the Association for the Study of Sungan Politics. Today, July the 8th is a very solemn day. It was on July the 8th, 1994, that the great leader, President Kim Il-sung, passed away very suddenly. And I particularly uh, remember that day uh, very poignantly uh, because uh, I'd only returned from the DPRK a few days before. Uh, the British Group for the Study of the Duke Idea uh, had uh, sent a delegation to the DPRK to study at the Duke Idea Academy. I led the delegation and we stayed in the DPRK uh, for the uh, last two weeks in June and we start, started our journey back to London on the 2nd of July arriving on the 3rd of July and uh, you know only uh, it, you know, six days after that, we got the shocking news that President Kim Il-sung had passed away. And I remember this particularly because uh, I'd gone to stay at my mother's house in Winchester, a city in southern England. And uh, I remember uh, turning the uh, uh, news on the radio on... Uh, you know, she was a. Uh, my mother was a listener to uh, BBC Radio Four and Radio Three, so I, I turned the uh, news on. Uh, the pips went at eight o'clock, and the first news item was that uh, President Kim Il Sung had passed away, and the BBC announcer said it in a very stark. In a very disrespectful way, uh, you know, BBC is uh, the voice of the British ruling class, the voice of the British capitalists and imperialists, uh, and, uh, you know, the way they announced it showed a lot of disrespect uh, to the great leader, President Kim Il-sung. I did not, at first, uh, believe uh, the news. I thought it was... Uh, was made up that it was uh, fake and I felt very ill. Later uh, I learned that it was true and later in the uh, week I made my way up to uh, the DPRK mission to the International Maritime Organisation in London because there was not a DPRK embassy in London and uh, made a small uh, floral uh, tribute uh, to uh, Pres uh, President Kim Il-sung there, which was my humble uh, tribute. Uh, so President Kim Il-sung is uh, remembered not only by the Korean people, but the world people, by Juche dear followers, uh, Sungha my dear followers, true friends of people's career and by revolutionaries throughout the world. President Kim Il-sung uh, fought for independence all his life. He secured independence for the Korean people by defeating Japanese imperialism, which has won the uh, shock brigades of international fascism. It was an ally of uh, both uh, uh, Nazi Germany and uh, fascist Italy and President Kim Il-sung fought for 15 years to free his people from the enslavement of Japan and uh, uh, when he liberated Korea he built a new Korea, a people's 
Ikria in the land of the morning calm. He defended uh, People's Korea when it was uh, invaded by US imperialism and uh, 15 of its satellite states. He became known as the ever victorious, iron willed, brilliant commander and a gifted strategist because uh, under his leadership the Korean people defeated US imperialism and started it on the road of decline. Indeed, Korea was the war before Vietnam. President Kim Il sung had offered the Duke Chad Deer, in fact he first outlined it in his historic speech, The Path of the Korean Revolution, uh, made in June 1930. And uh, he later uh, developed uh, the Duke Chad Deer, uh, the uh, application of which uh, is uh, independence in politics, self-sufficiency in the economy, and self-reliance in defence. And the underpin of this, the central philosophical core of the Duce idea, is the concept that humans are the masters and decide everything. A great idea gives birth to a great reality, and uh, under the leadership of President Kim Il-sung and under the banner of the Duce idea, uh, the Korean people built an independent socialist country based on Juche, uh, which uh, was totally independent and indeed still is totally independent, the most independent country in the world, the country with uh, undiluted uh, sovereignty, as John Major once said. And, uh, you know, the achievements of Juche socialism are really startling, uh, not only uh, was the DPRK able to industrialise, but uh, they abolished taxation in March 1974. You have free education in the DPRK, free health care, and virtually free housing and low-cost food, and full employment. All these uh, things that uh, we uh, lack in the imperialist and capitalist countries. President Kim Il-sung was a great internationalist. He uh, assisted the uh, Chinese pe people, in fact, uh, in the 1930s, Korean and Chinese units fought together against the Japanese imperialists. After liberation, President Kim Il-sung sent his best commanders to assist the Chinese People's Liberation Army in its uh, war against the KMT reactionaries in China and uh, also gave other material support to the Chinese people. President uh, Kim Il-sung uh, sent uh, KPA uh, pilots and engineers to Vietnam uh, he viewed the uh, US aggression against Vietnam as uh, aggression against uh, Korea. And he sent uh, internationalist support to many uh, other countries and peoples throughout the world. And in fact, uh, uh, he sent agricultural technicians to, to Africa uh, in Guinea, there was a Kim Il-sung Agricultural Institute, just to name one example. So uh, uh, President Kim Il-sung had a great internationalist record, as well as being a great fighter for socialism in uh, Korea. President Kim Il-sung had opposed modern revisionism when it emerged in the international communist movement in the late 1950s. At the same time, he opposed left opportunism, which emerged uh, in the uh, 1960s, and he did his best to uh, work for unity in the international communist movement and the uh, socialist uh, uh, camp. 
And uh, when the red flag of socialism was thrown down by modern revisionism in the uh, early 1990s, President Kim Il-sung made sure that it was uh, raised high in Korea and that uh, people's career kept on the socialist road. Uh, and uh, as I President Kim Il-sung was a revolutionary to the very last moments of his life. This uh, is just to mention a few of uh, his great achievements. I could uh, talk for a very uh, long time about them, but I will conclude here. I uh, would thank people for listening to this video. And uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and uh, please uh, support our events. Thank you. Good evening.